I constantly get these phone calls. My tree is dying, it's got bugs, what do I spray it with? When I'm getting this question about what do I spray it with, I'm like, stop right there, let's rewind the conversation. It's not about spraying. If you see holes in a pine tree that have frass coming out of it, there is no saving it. No matter what people tell you about spraying it with pesticides and insecticides, that tree is dead, the tree is toast. If you've got bark beetles on your pine, or ambrosia beetles on your hardwoods, whatever. You can spray insecticides on there and you can kill them, but it's not gonna do a lot of good because in a day, more are gonna be there. But it's essentially like taking a chemical fly swatter out there, is all you're doing. Oh, right? I love that. Thank yes, you. exactly. In Florida, there are 130 species of bark beetles at least. So when someone tells you, you have the bark beetle, a red light should come on immediately. Yeah. There are 135 species. Which one is it? right? Really only one kills healthy trees and yep. that's the sun pine beetle yep. and that has to be a super special case where you have densely packed ripe stand of mostly loblolly pine. Mm -hmm. All other cases when you see bugs on trees it's not an aggression by the bug. There are many other insects that like to eat trees but almost none of them are able to penetrate this formidable fortress of a living tree. For almost every tree pest we have in the southeast, they're there because that tree is stressed. The only real aggressive ones we have are the invasive, so the emerald ash borers, that type of thing. Everything else is there because that tree is stressed in some way, shape, or form. You don't see them attacking every tree out here because most of these trees are healthy and they're able to fend that off and they only get into trees when the tree's defenses are too weak to hold them out. I love that. So in other words, the statement insects kill trees is actually really wrong. At certain very specific conditions, right. some insects finish trees. That's what I say. In, a lot of times those insects are really noticeable to most people. Exactly, right? it's You've like got, the vultures on a corpse. Exactly, that's a great way to put it. Vultures on a corpse, they didn't kill it. They're just finishing things off. And so in that case, again, Diagnostics mm -hmm. is really important. Send yeah. us a photo, take a photo of that thing and we can tell you. The picture you get with your phone, those are gonna tell us what we need to know by and large. So just send them in, get a good second opinion and then use that information to your, you know, the best of your knowledge at that point. We have a Facebook, this is the address right here, Southern Forest and Tree Health Diagnostics. Just sign up and people like us will tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. And we help for free. That's totally. the other thing. Yeah. The, what I noticed is that once people join some of these discussion groups or whatever, people call us, we j don't just tell you, you know, don't spray it, do this and do that. Mm -hmm. Like, we invite you into this whole new world. Yeah. And once you start knowing some of these more intimate relationships out there in this green stuff, mm -hmm. it becomes interesting.